Welcome to yet another unboxing on Linus Tech Tips. Today I do not have a camera person, but I can give you guys, sorry, as an apology for me having to, to sort of ghetto it today, I can give you guys a quick tour of the new NCIX Tech Tips filming studio. So we've got a blue wall here, which will be the background for NCIX Tech Tips. Got some power outlets and some network outlets. Got a green screen wall for all kinds of crazy cool stuff we might want to do with that. Got our cart that has you know, our usual sort of knickknacks on it. Here's the pile of all of the stuff that was in the old Tech Tips room. And that pretty much concludes it. Today I'm going to be having a look at the Acer Aspire S7. This is an extremely exciting notebook. It has Windows 8, it has a touch screen, and it is basically just awesome. So here's the full specs. 11.6 inch HD touch panel, LED LCD, HD graphics 4000, 4 gigs of RAM, a 256 gig SSD in this particular configuration of it. But what's most important about this notebook is the fact that it is so freaking small. Now this isn't a proper retail box, so there's going to be some things potentially missing like discs and warranty info and all that kind of stuff. But we can see the power brick. So the power brick is there's my iPhone 4 comparison, a little bit thicker than an iPhone 4, a little bit smaller than an iPhone 4, pretty reasonable size considering that this is a Core i3 machine, so it's, or, or excuse me, this is a Core i7 machine, and the form factor is just outstanding. Okay, hold on. Let's just see if there's anything else in here that... So this is probably what the retail packaging will look like, but it will actually have stuff in it. So now let's check out the machine itself. Now it has just an awesome brushed it almost looks like, okay, I, I hate to use the word scratched, but it almost looks like it's got like an aluminum sort of um, diamond pattern scratch in it. So it's going at kind of diagonals here. I like two things about this. It looks really nice. And I like that if you accidentally scratch it, it will be more hidden than something like, say for example, an iPad 2, where the aluminum is very plain, very flat looking. The hinge is very well constructed actually, especially considering the size. You've got your indicator LEDs here for charging as well as power, and there's another hinge right there. On the sides, I.O. is pretty simple. So you got your micro SD slot, your headphone microphone jack, your USB 3.0, and that's pretty much it on this side. On the back you find some ventilation, lots of ventilation, as well as, check that out, micro HDMI. Very good stuff. On the other side, you got your power in, you got your power button, and another super speed USB 3.0 jack. At the front of the notebook, you find not a whole lot, just some Acer Aspire S7 branding. You can see the finish of this is just gorgeous. So the whole top cover is aluminum. You've also got a handle there for opening it up. And then the bottom is just plastic, but it's a very clean, very nice looking, just white plain plastic you got speaker ports built into the bottom of the notebook so these will reflect up off of whatever hard surface you're on if you're on a soft surface then you're not going to have oh sorry i was pointing at the sorry that, those are the intakes for the ventilation uh speakers are here and here so you got stereo speakers and they're going to reflect off of whatever it is from the slight curvature of the notebook body you can see you're going to get a little bit more sound sort of coming out this way but i wouldn't i mean with anything in this form factor i wouldn't expect the speakers to be like amazing or anything. Once we open it up, we find a standard keyboard layout. We're going to find out how quickly it wakes up from, actually I think, is this in sleep? I guess we'll find out one way or the other. Yeah, it was in sleep. There you go. Or, hmm, not sure actually. All right, so uh, once we get inside, we find a chiclet type keyboard layout with no cardinal sins to speak of. So we've got long shift keys, uh, uh, enter key, actually, yeah, correct enter key, backspace, delete are actually pretty cleverly positioned, long tab, everything in here looks okay. If anything, they've shrunk some of the stuff that's stupid, like who uses the top of their enter key, and who wants to hit the caps lock key all the time? Not I. Uh, they we're using like an edge to edge, like a, no, we're using, it's using edge to edge glass almost to the edge, so there's a little bit of aluminum here from sort of the unibody top and then it goes right to here. That's where the glass is. So that'll allow you to easily swipe in from the bottom or swipe in from the side. This is an engineering sample notebook, so actually some of the gestures aren't working correctly on it. So forgive me guys, this is not a finished product, but the actual one will work correctly for all of the gestures that you wanna do. Screen is actually pretty darn good. So you've got 
reasonable viewing angles. It is glossy, so you do have to contend with that. Here, this is probably going to be a better way to give you guys a look at it. So there you go. Viewing angles are, are quite excellent. If you come up here, you can still see it very, very well. And what I like most about this is the portability. It weighs almost nothing. So here, I never did show you guys my iPhone comparison for the thinness of the overall notebook, which is just crazy. Tiny, tiny thing. So there, that gives you some idea of the size of this notebook and then the thinness here. Check that out. Here, I gotta, I gotta move it to the edge. You almost lose it in the, uh, in the cloth here. Very, very thin, very light because of the aluminum plastic construction. Very solid feeling. So I would actually use this with confidence like this because the hinge is quite sturdy. Like I wouldn't worry about it breaking or anything, which is usually the case on notebooks of this kind of size. And uh, here is aluminum as well. So that's again what contributes to the sturdiness of the machine. Touchpad is reasonably sized actually. Here, I'll do another, another iPhone size comparison. Ha ha. Reasonably sized actually for a notebook of this size as well. And the correct uh, the correct aspect ratio for the 16 by 9 screen. So it's a 1366 by 768 screen on there. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Acer Aspire S7. It's kind of a lie calling this a first look because this is not the first time I've looked at it. I'm really excited about this notebook. I've been playing around with it a fair bit. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.